Hey everyone, welcome back to Fashcast. This week I was inspired by one of the most hilarious lines in the Ab Fab movie of everyone saying, what is PR? Well, I decided to introduce you to one of the nicest people that work in fashion, Nick Eid. He is the founder of East of Eden London. Let's go say hello. But this is Nick's office. He is expecting us. Hi Steph, how Here are you? Here he is, hello. You are right. Nice to see you. Good to see you too. Listen, it's gorgeous weather. Let's go for a walk. So this is Nick, and he is literally one of the nicest people that I've ever met that actually work in fashion. Really? That's yes. a pretty great compliment, because I know there's a lot of people out there who think that fashion PR is like full of either Ab Fab or very, very nasty people who are always in a hurry. Well, that's the thing. So Ab Fab movie has just come out, and one of the most funny lines in it is that people say, what is PR? And the lady says, PR things, I PR people, but what is that? What does PR actually mean? Um, oh my god, actually PR is about people, it's about things, but what it is, is about basically taking an object, a person, an item, and giving it some space, giving it uh, a bit of fame mm -hmm. in its own little area. And what PR does, it educates a consumer and hopefully makes them buy the product. Okay, so you have to find out what's special about something, a product or a person or a brand, whatever, and then you emphasise that. That's right, and then hopefully what you do is you get your team to sell that in to the media, whether it's um, online, whether it's in the newspapers, whether it's getting them onto the sofa on Good Morning Britain or something like that, to tell them about that product. And obviously the main emphasis is either to drive sales, right. which is usually for products, to drive a story, so whether it's for charity or whether it's about consumer affairs, or, as you know, politicians use PR in many ways to gain votes and followers. Okay, so you work particularly with fashion and celebrities a lot. Yes, I do. Um, on multiple different levels, but one thing that you do is that you use fashion and charity together. That's right. I mean, one of the things that we specialise in at East of Eden is looking at how we can, you know, make glamorous products which are sexy and yeah. will sell but do good at the same time. So for instance, we have worked for four years with uh, Children in Need. Mm -hmm. They came to us and said, look, we want to do a t-shirt. It could be Pudsy the Bear, but everybody knew it. It was something that, you know, if you've got one, you're not going to wear it again. So they came to me and said, Nick, we want to create a product which is desirable, right. that people will want and they'll use, and other people want to buy it because it's got that uh, sort of X factor, basically. So we went to Giles Deacon, you okay. know, a very famous designer. But he came up with this really cool sort of metallic style Pudsy. Um, and we were like, okay, this is great on a white, clean, crisp white t-shirt, but how do we promote it? How do we PR it? And then we went to celebrities. So we went to people like Abby Clancy, uh, Michelle Keegan, all the stars that have, first of all, large followings on social media. So that's very important. Very important. They also look great. Mm -hmm. They're in the public eye and they're always featured that we knew we'd get press from. And then what we did do was this shoot with Rankin. We then promoted that and put it into all the magazines and newspapers. It got, you know, blanket coverage. And through that, it would generate sales for the T-shirt and in that way would raise money for the charity. Now, that to me sounds like a lot of connections that you need and it's a lot of work. Well, it is a lot of work at the beginning because you've got to establish those relationships. But when you get it down to a T, uh, you actually can, you know, do it on m many different levels. Nice. And I love, like, you know how much I love fashion and I've got some great ideas at the moment. I'm working on a, on a pop-up uh, charity shop at the moment, which will be like, the world's most expensive charity shop, which will have amazing items from big stars like Mariah Carey and Celine Dion. And, you know, it'd be like very cool. So. See, how do you even get these items? <laughs> See, his, his little black <laughs> book is so impressive. He makes it sound so like, oh, you know, just something from Mariah Carey. You know, you're so well connected. Yeah, but you know what the thing is, I've done it, you do it, for, if you do it from a good place. Yeah. And you're not doing it from a pretentious place, you're trying to do some good. Yes. You turn around to a big star and you say, listen, give me one of your dresses. And they've got a thousand dresses that they, for probably a year's worth of, you know, Kim Kardashian, for instance, is like 10,000 items of clothing. Yeah. You're like one item of clothing, which you've worn on your TV show. That's nothing to her, but to somebody else, that's an amazing thing. So that's of really course. how you could pitch it. And so it is possible to work in fashion, it be glamorous, not be surrounded by people that are mean, like mean girls, yeah. and make it work. It is, exactly. I think, you know, I think a lot of people, listen, there are agencies and there are people in the PR world who are just ridiculous. I just laugh at them, I think it's funny. I've been around now for nearly 20 years and I've, I always believe be good to people on the way up, always say yes. If you say no, say it in a good way and have yeah. a reason for saying no. Yeah. And also never be bad to people because you never ever know whether you might need them again. Perfect, I love it. Well, Nick, it's been a pleasure. 
And you're literally, I told you guys, the nicest man that works in fashion. Oh, thank you very much. But well, you're the nicest girl who works in fashion. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> Guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next week for more Fashcast. Bye.